This is a cam and cam follower device. It's being used to tell a story of how Iggy the Iguana spends their time at the Science Museum. This device shows how Iggy brings their favorite science book and automata device to the museum. When the crank is turned, it spins the cam, and the picture of Iggy that is attached to the cam follower turns around. It looks like Iggy is looking around to try and figure out what exhibit they should check out next. Let's figure out how these devices work. Start by deciding what you'd like the figures on top to do. They could move around and around like this one. They could move back and forth like this one. It all depends on the shape of the cam and what it does to the cam follower, as well as the number of cams that touch the cam follower. Let me explain. These are the main parts. This part is the cam. It rotates when I turn the axle. The cam follower touches the top of the cam. It moves as the cam moves. How do you get the figures to move in these different ways? Let's take a closer look at the insides. Be thinking about what is happening and why. The round cam with the axle going through the center makes the cam follower spin around and around. To make it spin, the cam must be slightly off to the side of the cam follower. The round cam with the axle off to one side makes the cam follower go up and down, like this. This time, the cam should be directly centered under the cam follower, so that the cam follower doesn't spin. The oval cam, with the axle going through the center, is another way to make the cam follower go up and down. Two cams make the cam follower go back and forth, like this. The cam is able to move the cam follower because there is friction at the place they touch. You could increase the friction by sticking craft foam to the bottom of the cam follower. Or you could increase the thickness of the cam follower's cardboard. It's important to keep the cam straight up and down on the axle. Gluing foam beads on either side of it does the trick. Take a push pin to help you start the axle holes. Insert the axle through a side hole. Then slip a foam bead over the end. Followed by the cam. And another foam bead. Then go through the other hole. Reposition the cam to be where you want it. Put the cam follower through the hole at the top. If the cam follower wobbles or falls off the cam, you could try making a guide from a short piece of plastic straw and taping it in place on top of the box. Story Devices Here are two cam and cam follower devices that are being used to show scenes from two different Maya stories. This device shows a scene from La Chatona. As the image of the dancers spin, you can see the people dancing at the festival. This one shows a scene from My First Tejido. When the images flip back and forth, they show how the images of the jug and the sunflower turn into the weaving pattern that they inspire. Now it's time for you to get creative. Decide what story you'd like to work with, and draw a picture or choose artwork made by our artist, Zamara Kuyun. The drawings in the student guide will help you create your storytelling machines. Remember, you are engineering it. Be ready to figure out what is and isn't working, and how to fix it. Be patient, observe, ask a friend, and think.